Welcome to the interchange of Interstate 90 and State Route 18. With local population growth combined with increased traffic volumes, this interchange is experiencing an increasing level of congestion. Traffic backups are frequent along I-90, Highway 18, and the interchange ramps. This congestion is causing a decline in highway safety, prompting the Washington State Department of Transportation, or WashDOT, to find a solution. Since 2013, WashDOT has worked extensively with local governments and consultants to study and determine the best solution for this troubled interchange. In 2016, WashDOT identified a diverging diamond interchange as that solution. There are over 100 diverging diamond interchanges in use in the United States, including one right here in Washington State at the Marvin Road Interchange with I-5 in Lacey. Let's take a closer look at the diverging diamond interchange and see how it works. Improved efficiency of traffic flow is a hallmark of this type of interchange. In a traditional diamond interchange, traffic signals require three phases to manage the traffic movements, including a separate left turn phase. By contrast, in a diverging diamond interchange, through traffic and left turns happen at the same time, eliminating the need for a separate left turn phase. This creates shorter wait times and allows the interchange to handle more vehicles more efficiently. In a diverging diamond interchange, safety is improved by reducing the number of potential conflict points within the interchange. A traditional diamond interchange has 26 potential conflict points where traffic either crosses, merges, or diverges. This new interchange optimizes the traffic flow by eliminating the left turn crossing movements required to enter the interstate. This is accomplished by shifting the lanes to the left. This change lowers the number of potential conflict points from 26 to 14, which has been shown to reduce collisions by 50% and minimize their severity as well. It also increases the driver's sense of comfort. Now let's take a drive through the I-90 SR18 Diverging Diamond Interchange. Driving through it is very simple. The carefully designed approach angle of the intersections, along with clearly laid out striping, arrows, and signage, will safely guide motorists through the new interchange. Signs will help you make lane choices. Large lane arrows provide direction. The barriers will help minimize distractions. Dashed lane lines guide you through the intersection. It's just that easy. The I-90 SR18 Diverging Diamond Interchange will provide savings and additional upgrades to the interchange area. The new interchange will be built within the footprint of the existing interchange, reducing the amount of property WashDOT must acquire, therefore saving money. We'll also improve SR18 south of I-90 by providing two lanes in each direction and reducing bottlenecks that occur during peak periods. We'll add a second right turn lane from the eastbound I-90 off-ramp. There will be a new northbound right turn lane from SR18 to the eastbound I-90 on-ramp. And will widen southbound Snoqualmie Parkway between Southeast 99th Street and the I-90 ramps to add a new right turn lane to westbound I-90. The new I-90 SR18 Diverging Diamond Interchange and Highway Widening Project is designed to reduce travel times and traffic congestion while improving mobility for all users, now and into the future. For more information about this project, please see our website. Thanks for watching.